All right, so Pixel experience for the Redmi K20 Pro has been amazing all this while. It's been a while that it got stable on Android 11. And since then, they have been pushing updates each and every month. Most of the time, it is security patch updates and fixing of things. But this time, they did the same thing. They gave us a security patch update and they just said that we've fixed a bunch of things. I'll tell you why I'm doing a quick review on this one because I've been using it since yesterday evening and the experience has been very fluent very fluid i really don't know what they've changed they've not changed the kernel but it's definitely worth a try so before we get into the details of pixel experience based on android 11 for the redmi k20 pro if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you think you like chatting with like-minded people you can join us on telegram we have more than 1300 people over there you can follow us on instagram facebook and twitter as well and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort Please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's see over here what we have. We have PE official Raphael R Android 11 updated on the 24th of November 2021. You have the regular version, you have the plus version, you have the source change log, and then you have the device change log. So we are not going to the support group. We're going to the device change log over here. Well, it just says November security patch, other fixes. They have not detailed the change log over here. That's why I said there's not much mentioned. Always make an Android backup. Be safe. The ROM has G apps included. Uses OSS vendor perf calf kernel with dim layer implementation. You may flash custom kernels, but no support will be given for them. Use latest Android 11 firmware for your device and region. That's everything that they have to say. And the moment, yeah. These app icon animations are really fluent. It, it, it feels like a game, to be very honest. It's so much clear, so smooth. The transitions are really amazing on this particular ROM. And uh, we're not going to go through in detail completely towards the ROM, but we'll quickly have a look for a few of those who are, you know, have just unlocked their device or want to flash a new custom ROM or trying Pixel Experience or Pixel Experience Plus for the first time. On the home screen, you get a very, very basic look, just like Pixel devices, a Google search bar at the bottom. To the left, you have the beautifully smooth Google feed. It works butter smooth as ever. No problem whatsoever. From the top to bottom, you have a usual, you know, quick tiles, which includes caffeine, screen recorder and stuff like that. Even if you go to the screen recorder and record the screen, you will get a timer. And then let's in this update, if we don't really have a problem with the screen recorder. Yeah, the screen recorder is working perfectly fine as always. No problem whatsoever. So let's go ahead and stop the screen recorder. One thing though that I really, really think all custom ROM developers should do. I know Pixel Experience is not based on customization, but these days FPS info has become something very, very basic. And it's not that difficult for ROM developers to go ahead and integrate it into their ROM. So if you guys out there at the Pixel Experience team are watching this, consider adding the FPS meter at least at least to the plus edition. Now let's have a look at the recording over here. So as you can see, the audio, video, everything has gotten recorded absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever as far as the screen recorder is concerned. The volume panel is typical Android 11 style. It works absolutely fine over here. As you can see, you have live caption, which you can turn on or off. If you go to the multitasking menu, you do have the screenshot option over here, share, edit. And then once again, if you go to multitasking, you have select working absolutely fine. At the same time, if you tap this app icon over here, you do have the option of split screen, which works absolutely okay. No problem whatsoever. And you do have the pause app and app info option as well. So the multitasking menu, if I tell you, just look at the smoothness and quickness of this particular ROM. That is the reason I like Pixel Experience a lot. Now, mind you, Pixel Experience is not an out and out performance ROM, not an out and out battery life ROM. That is the reason I like it because it does a good balance of almost everything. Now, as far as the camera situation is concerned, it comes with a very, very basic camera application over here. It works fine. You can install Gcam and ANX camera. This is Android 11, so you should not have any issues. Now, let's move towards setting over here real quick. So if you actually go to about phone and you go to the Android version, you will see that it comes with the perf calf kernel as mentioned in the change log and the security patch is the latest November security patch. So this is the latest build based on Android 11 
and it is working splendid as expected. Now I know a lot of you guys would want to jump on the Android 12 bandwagon and it's not wrong to do so. A lot of Android 12 ROMs like Spark OS have gotten really really smooth and stable but if you want something which is foolproof I would suggest you give Pixel Experience a try. So if you go to system you have pop-up camera settings over here, sound effects, no calibration system available. Under gestures, you have the three finger screenshot option and you also have the advanced power menu, which is always a good thing. So all the gestures and additional options are working absolutely fine. Now, apart from this, if you say, you know, you go to display, you have all your usual display styles working absolutely fine. You will not find any additional options or features over here. Now, let's quickly have a look at the Accu battery over here. It might not give us completely accurate info, but let's see over here. Right, so I had connected it to USB, but I'll tell you this, it charges really, really quick. It uses almost the complete 24 or 25 watts out of the 27 watt charger. And the battery backup on this ROM is rock solid as well. Let's, let's go to battery over here. One good thing here is you do get optimization profiles, as you can see over here performance games so you can go ahead and you know set the thermal profiles and if you actually go to show battery usage as you can see over here i've been charging discharging charging discharging i have installed genshin impact battlegrounds and all those other things as well we will be doing a lot of gaming reviews now so that's good news for a lot of you guys out there show full device usage as you can see over here so the battery life on this particular rom is rock solid it works absolutely fine the main highlight of this particular rom being a 60 hertz device the smoothness is next level the stability is rock solid and if you go ahead and root you might have issues with safety net but if you go ahead and hide it let's see over here we have majisk over here let me show you majisk real quick as you can see you're gonna kill majisk from here and say let's go to safety net and run the safety net test there you go. The safety net test has passed. And if we talk about Wideman L1, DRM info says L1 certification is present. At the same time, if you go to the Google Play Store, the device is certified. So not only your content consumption is taken care of, your banking applications are taken care of, your you know Play Store certification is there and you should not have any problems with anything in this particular ROM. All in all, Pixel Experience is doing a great job, but hey, any video is incomplete without a uh, benchmark numbers, right? So let's go to photos over here. CPU throttle to 91% of its max performance. Average score was 191, 721 GIPS. So that is something really, really neat. A very good score. Moving on, if you actually go to Geekbench over here and you see the score, 735 single core, 2514 multi-core, pretty decent score. As always, for some reason, this ROM as well decided not to run Android 2 properly, so we didn't get a score. But all in all, Pixel Experience, stable based on Android 11's latest update, builds up on the reputation. It's a great ROM for daily driver. You can do some casual gaming on it as well. Let me know in the comment section if I should do a gaming review on this or not. Until the next one, this is Kalash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care. Goodbye.